Hello everyone, welcome to the part 3 of the Unity 3D car game tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be seeing how to add a finish line to a car racing game. So, let's get it started then. First of all, we, we have to create a wheel collider to our car. To do that, create an empty game object and name it as wheel collider and then go to component physics add a wheel collider to this make the radius as 0.45 rotate it by 130 degrees and set these to 0, zero. and press enter fine so now let's position this wheel collider to so that it meets a wheel fine I guess it's quite good enough so let's place this and delete this one I've created, I'd created this earlier to test it out so I'll delete this I'll move it here right yeah now what I'll do is I'll tag this wheel collider sorry I'll uh, yeah uh, we'll keep it to that later uh, now we have to create a plane so as to detect that that is the finish line of our race right I'll create a plane Just move it around and place it so that it's quite visible to test and uh, it'll be easy for us to test whether uh, it's working or not, right? Just rotate it a bit. It sounds looks quite good, right? Just move it down a bit. Okay. That's fine, I suppose. Yeah. Now I've created a, a, a text called as finish. I've Create it already. You can create your own, or I'll put this in, in in my blog. You can download it if you want. Just drag it, drag this here. Yeah. See now. Let's finish. This plane has a texture here, right? So this is the finish line. I'll just move it away. Yeah. Just. Five. Just adjusting it a bit, right? Yeah, it's fine now. Now what we've done is we have created a finish line. Now let's. Turn our concentration towards the scripting part. Open the timer script. Yeah. But before that, we have created a plane. 
tag it by the name finish add the tag go to this size 2 element and tap here finish and press enter now we have added a tag new tag that is no tag this plane with finish tag right so that's done with it now to the scripting part I've created this earlier just paste it. I'll just paste it here yeah now what we have done is we have created a variable named as mywc which is of type wheel collider remember we have created a wheel collider here right so what this wheel collider does is does that is it detects if our car has touched that plane that is that that, that finish line if it has touched uh, then it indicates that uh, we have finished the race now I've created another variable which is of type boolean and I've declared it to uh, or rather initialize it to false since we have uh, we at the beginning of the race uh, we, we set it to false uh, in the function update we have created another variable named as it which is of wheel it it determines whether uh, the, the wheel or the wheel collider has hit the uh, plane here yeah. this condition checks whether our wheel collider has hit has uh, hit the plane uh, that is the ground uh, and has completed the race or not here yeah. this is the thing so uh, we we find the game object of tag with finish tagged with finish and if, if our wheel collider hits this uh, plane tagged with finish then we'll assign each finish to, to true so then the timer stops right uh, what what we have done here is if uh, uh, if is finished is not equal to true so the the, the timer will be continued to uh, tra track the time uh, the race time right so if it is finished if is finished equal to true then the timer stops that's the thing here right I hope you understood this now let's save it and test it now go to the container part and add assign this wheel collider yeah now let's test it See the timer stopped. So this was a part three of the tutorial to set the finish line. In the next part of the tutorial, we'll be seeing how to stop the car up once the destination has been reached. Right. So thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Keep liking, subscribing, and if you have any issues, do comment. I'll do reply on them. Thank you for watching again. Thank you, guys. See ya.